This is an interesting little question of modulus quadratic inequality and we are going to use four increasingly cool methods to solve this, starting with the standard one uh, and then moving on to increasingly quick and increasingly cool methods. OK, so first of all, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's just factorise these. So basically x squared minus 3x add 2 is x minus 2, x minus 1. And x squared minus 5x add 4 is x minus 4 x minus 1 and therefore we know that we have critical points at x equals 1, 2 and 4 and these are the, the ranges and intervals that we have to be very careful about. So let's have a look at case A. Case A will be x greater than 4. Well x greater than 4 both of these quadratics are positive and therefore we can ignore the modulus so we have that x squared minus 3x add 2 is going to be less than x squared minus 5x add 4 Therefore, we have that 2x minus 2 is less than 0, i.e. x less than 1. But we have to compare the solution we find to the interval that we are looking at. And clearly, x can't be less than 1 if x has got to be greater than 4. So there are no solutions in case A. Let's have a look at case B. Well, case B will be between these two critical points, i.e. x less than 4 and greater than 2. Now, in this case, this quadratic will be negative, so we have to flip it, and this one will be positive, so we have that x squared minus 3x add 2 is going to be less than minus x squared add 5x minus 4, making that one negative, and solving this one, we get that 2x squared minus 8x add 6 has got to be less than 0, i.e. we have x squared minus 4x add 3 has got to be less than 0, and that factorises nicely. x minus 3, x minus 1 has got to be less than 0, and therefore we know that x would be between 1 and 3, and we then have to compare this to the interval uh, of the case, and basically the, inter inter the union uh, in section sorry, of these two, x between 2 and 4 and x between 1 and 3, basically gives us that x is between 2 and 3, that is one part of the solution. Case C, we now go basically looking at our critical points. It will be between 1 and 2, when x is between 1 and 2. And remember, this is only the first method, and this is the more laborious one, but it's, it's probably the, uh, uh, the standard one. Both of them are negative in this range here, and therefore we have minus x squared add 3x minus 2 is less than minus x squared add 5x minus 4 and solving that we get that 2x is greater than 2 i.e x has got to be greater than 1 and comparing that to that that is actually the whole part of it so x between 1 and 2 is all part of our solution as well and then finally let's have a look at case d case d is when x is less than 1 that's the final one well they are both positive when we've passed all of these critical points. So it's actually the same as case A, which gives us this part, which gives 2x minus 2 minus 2 is less than 0, i.e. x less than 1. Well, obviously, when x is less than 1, x is less than 1. That, therefore, is also a solution. Now we've just got to look at the critical points. Uh, when we look at the point x equals to 1 and we put it in, it's not valid because that gives us that mod of 0 has got to be less the mod of 0. So x can't be equal to 1. When we put in x equals 2, we get 0 has got to be less than mod of minus 2, which is true, so that's fine. And when we put in x equals 4, we get that mod 6 has got to be less than mod 0. Well, that's not the case either, uh, but that's outside of the range. Anyway, so when we have a look and add up all of these ones in the rectangles, x is between 3 and 2, x is between 2 and 1, x is less than 1 and x is not equal to 0, that gives us the answer that x is less than 3 with x not being equal to 1, which is answer A, just going back to our question, that is the answer. But it is a little bit long uh, and there are a couple of better ways. So let's have a look at method 2. So that was method 1. Let's have a look now at method 2. Okay, so method 2. Uh, let's just rewrite what the uh, the question was here. Mod x squared minus 3x add 2 less than mod x squared minus 5x 
at four. Now you've got to be careful when you square both sides of an inequality, but as we know this is positive and we know this is positive, therefore we know that squaring both sides of this is perfectly acceptable and the inequality holds. So therefore that squared is less than x squared minus 5x add 4 squared. And then taking them both across to one side, we get that x squared minus 3x add 2 squared minus x squared minus 5x add 4 squared has got to be less than 0. And we can use the difference of two squares here because we know that a squared minus b squared is a plus b, whoops, excuse me, a plus b, a minus b, and therefore we can rewrite this here as x squared minus 3x add 2 add x squared minus 5x add 4 times by x squared minus 3x add 2 minus x squared minus 5x add 4 is less than 0. Simplifying that, we get that 2x squared minus 8x add 6 times 2x minus 2 is less than 0, i.e. 4, x squared minus 4x add 3 times x minus 1 is less than 0, and that gives us x minus 3 times x minus 1 squared is less than 0, and we're almost there now. Now, as x minus 1 squared, anything squared is always greater than or equal to 0, except at x equals 1, so we have to exclude x equals to 1, then basically all we have left is x minus 3 has got to be less than 0, i.e. x has got to be less than 3. So we now have the answer far quicker here, x less than 3, x not equal to 1. That's method 2, and that's a good method. Let's have a look at method 3. Method 3 is even quicker. We can use the fact that mod AB is equal to mod a mod b and we can rewrite uh, well again let's just write it out just to x squared minus 3x add 2 less than x squared minus 5x add 4 that's our original question we can rewrite that as mod x minus 2 mod x minus 1 just factorizing it and using this is less than mod x minus 4 mod x minus 1 and basically as long as x is not equal to 1 mod x minus 1 is always positive so we can cancel it out of the inequality which just leaves us that mod x minus 2 is less than mod x minus 4 and basically what that means if we just draw a quick number line there's 2 and here's 4 it means that the distance of x from 2 must be less than the distance of x from 4 i.e. basically it has got to be anywhere less than 3. Any point of this way will always be closer to 2 than it is to 4. So that gives us immediately x less than 3, x not equal to 1. So that's method 3. Now that's quite a nice method. Method 4 is also a little bit of fun. Let's have a look at method 4. Method 4, we can simply draw them. So let's just have a, a quick drawing of these. Okay, so the first one basically... Um, uh, x squared minus 3x add 2 looks there it would have uh, roots here and here and it looks something along the lines of that and x squared what was the other one x squared minus 5x add 4 basically that one uh, what's it, well, let's do it in a different color let's do it in uh, red so x squared minus 5x add 4 will look basically like This, that will go to that point 4 and then across. Sorry, it's gone off the edge of the, uh, the thing. Um, basically, this is just, this would have been the quadratic down there, but it's been flipped up because of the modulus and ditto this bit. So all we need to know now, the red one is mod x squared minus 5x add 4. And the black one, let's go back to black. The black one is mod x squared minus 3x add 2. So basically, we, all we need to do now is find this point of intersection, and we know it's when the red one is at the negative, so we know that it's when minus x squared minus 5x add 4 is equal to x squared minus 3x add 2, and we know one of the solutions of that is x equals 1, and therefore we can divide that through, and that gives us that 4 minus x is equal to x minus 2, i.e. x equals 3. So this point here 
is x equals 3, and so therefore we can see the red one is clearly bigger than the black one for all points x less than 3, except the one point where they are equal, which is x equals 1, so we have to exclude x being 1. And they are the four methods of solving this equation, um, solving this inequality. All increasingly cool, I think. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please uh, uh, like it and subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.